with a record taken as a two-year-old of 158 on a 5 8 mile track, making her first appearance in a purse race since she raced in the elimination of the Hambo Oaks on the 2nd of August. Gerond Hanover, number one, with Bob Roberts. Carrying number two is Neath. Owned by Jeff Gerald, J.D. Alicard Incorporated, and Arthur Geiger, trained by Bob Bengal, the breeder, Lighthouse Hill Stable, and others. The driver has been changed to Dave McGee. Neath is a daughter of Speedy Crown from the well-known Chili Bowl by Super Bowl. Makes only her third appearance of the 1997 season, coming off a top four finish in the Phillies Wig at Syracuse. Number three is Lindy's New Lady, owned by Lindy Farms of Connecticut, based in Somersville, Connecticut. Bred by Hans Engren of Pennsylvania, trained by Chuck Sylvester. This balanced image filly will have John Campbell at the lines, coming off a second place finish beaten less than a length in the American National at Sportsman's Park. Number four is Cruise Team, owned by Southwind Farm of Pennington, New Jersey, bred by Castleton Farm of Lexington, Kentucky. And Jim Matinas is both the trainer and the driver. He makes his first ever visit today to the DeCoin State Fair, journeying out from his New Jersey base. He drives a Super Gill daughter of a homesick dam. Number five is Must Be Victory, owned by John and Adelaide Scogland of Key Largo, Florida. Bred by Dunroven Stud, trained by James Keller in the John Johnson Stable, Barrett Lynchdett will drive the Hambo Oaks champion with a record of 153 and 2. Winged Victory number six is owned by Norman Rose of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, bred by Southwind Farm and others. Trained by Connie Swenson, Jimmy Tactor drives this Valley Victory filly. Coming off a qualifying win, she has not raced for a purse since July 12th, Winged Victory. No Nonsense Woman number seven, not worse than second on the 1997 campaign, approaching $700,000 in earnings. She's owned by Jim Doherty, Helen and Frank Rubinetti of New Jersey, trained by Jim Doherty Jr., Jim Doherty in the bike. This one bred by, in partnership by Bianchi and Solomon. Finally, Flowing Jody comes in having won her last five straight, including the American National. She is owned by Ruby Hostetler of Beach City, Ohio, bred by Mary Janone, trained and driven by Charles Myrick. Those are the starters for the Philly World Trotting Derby. The track is fast, and post time is coming up in just four minutes. Here they come. Neath is off stride. And they're off. No nonsense woman trots out for the lead. Winged victory is on a break as the field heads into the turn. There goes must be victory trotting up now to get a short lead from no nonsense woman who moves up around the outside of Lindy's new lady, followed by Cruz team. Then comes flowing Jody into the turn. She gets away trotting fifth, about five lengths off the lead. Then a gap of three more to Gerond Hanover. Then a big gap of nearly 20. Back to winged victory and Neath is the trailer as the latter two both broke stride at the start. The opening quarter went in 28 and two fifth seconds. No nonsense woman has made the top finally by two lengths as they enter the back stretch. Must be victory. Travels along in second, just in front of Lindy's new lady. Gap of two more back to cruise team and fourth as everyone goes single file. Flowing Jody is racing in the fifth spot, still six lengths off the lead now. Gerond Hanover behind her, then still a noticeable gap back to winged victory and Neath, who is the trailer. As the field moves by the half, they were there in a time of 58 and three-fifths seconds. Over at the far turn, No Nonsense Woman shows the way by a length and a half. Cruise Team is the first filly to come off the rail. She was fourth, now she's third. And moving up on the outside of Must Be Victory, they're battling for second. Flowing Jody moves up on the outside with cover. She's fourth and racing two and a half lengths off the lead as they move by the three-quarter. Then comes Gerond Hanover and Lindy's New Lady back toward the inside. At the three-quarter mile mark, here's Cruise Team moving up to challenge for the lead in 127 and three. No Nonsense Woman is still there. The front two stride for stride. Flowing Jody sits third. We'll have to go three deep, and here she comes. Flowing Jody out toward the center of the track. Must be victory. Locked in fourth toward the rail. Moving by the eighth pole. No nonsense woman. A short lead. Here comes Gerond Hanover on the extreme outside. Flowing Jody is there, and now must be victory finds room, but they've still got no nonsense woman to get. Must be victory coming late. No nonsense woman wins it by almost a full length. Must be victory was second close for show. Either Lindy's new lady or 
for Geron Hanover in 155 and 2. Moving into the winner's circle for today's sixth race, taking the opening heat of the Philly Trotting Derby, here's number seven, no-nonsense woman, Jim Doherty. No-nonsense woman, owned in partnership by Jim Doherty and Helen and Frank Rubinetti of New Jersey, trained by Jim Doherty Jr., bred by Bianchi and Solomon, the winning filly by world champion Sierra Cosmos from Sarah's Fergie by Prakas, who won the World Trotting Derby Open division here at DuCoin when he was a three-year-old. Bouncing back from three straight second-place finishes to take the opening heat of the Philly Trotting Derby in a time of 155 and 2, no nonsense woman.